I never wanted to be anything else but a priest from as far back as I can remember. I suppose five or six years of age, uh, youngsters started thinking about being cowboys or firemen or something. I always wanted to be a priest. The place that most people associate Father Hesburgh with is, of course, the campus at South Bend. But his first association was on Midland Avenue in the city of Syracuse. Born May 25th, 1917, the second child and first son of Theodore and Anne, a typical Catholic home of the day. When I was in seventh grade, the Holy Cross priest who then operated the University of Notre Dame completely, uh, they came to give a mission, and I met one of them, Father Duffy. They were all nice guys, and I was impressed by that. But Father Duffy said, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I said, I want to be a priest. And he said, well, that's a great thing. Then he went to see my mother, and he said, uh, I understand Ted's thinking of being a priest. She said, yeah, but he's in seventh grade, and, and uh, let's hope it ho holds up. And he said, well, I've got a great idea. We'll send him to Notre Dame. We have a prep seminary there. He can do his whole high school at Notre Dame in Holy Cross College or Holy Cross Seminary. She said, no way. He said, what do you mean, no way? He might lose his vocation. My mother was a tough Irishman, Anne Marie Murphy. She said, if he loses his vocation growing up in a Catholic family, going to mass every day, going to a Catholic school, I'll tell you something, Father, he doesn't have one. And so five years later in 1934, Father Hesper graduated from Most Holy Rosary Parochial High School in Syracuse now properly prepared for the seminary at the University of Notre Dame. If you could put one word on your tomb, what would it be? I'd say priest. I think that that one word is for me the, if there was a center of my existence, that's what I'd want it to be. And I pray to God that I not only live as a priest, but die as a priest. <laughs> 